No cap. The Walking Dead prepared me for this epidemic. It prepared me. Yo. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how I rehydrated my hair after a week. After a week. So every day, you know, spray with water, mix with oil. Yada yada da, but it's been a while since I had more stretch in my hair. So today I'm gonna do a little like LOC, so liquid cream, cream, and oil. For my oil, I don't really use liquid oil, I use um, shea butter. Shea butter, I use shea butter because. It keeps the moisture, it seals in the moisture, and I don't have to do like a lot of things. So today, how y'all holding up? Before I even like do this thing, how y'all holding up? Hmm? So I use clips to just like separate the hair that I'm about to do and the rest of the dryness. Um, like small portions, they don't need to be big. How you doing with this? Like there's so many things going on at the same time you cannot keep track. <clears throat> First, I wear my hair. I make sure it's like saturated because I have 4 C hair. And if this hair doesn't have water in it and I try to brush it, it's like World War Z on my head. I'm not about to, no. So I wear my hair. Do do do. Eh. With my hair, then I add a little bit of leave-in because it's going to be more man manageable. I don't know. This new leave-in they're putting out, I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know what's up. I don't like the texture. It's grainy for some reason. So I add that to like the hair hair section and gently gently finger detangle it you gently finger detangle the hair you just let it slide through your finger if it's not sliding you just do small you start from the top of the hair and then you go through the roof roots you start from the ends to go through the roots detangle gently you gotta be gentle if you're gentle with your hair it's gonna be gentle with you back you do that and when you feel that the hair has been you know <coughs> sorry for my voice i don't understand been in the house cooked up so Something like that. When you feel like every single strand has been coated with um, the leave-in, now you put your shea butter. Da -da -da. So the shea butter looks like that, and it melts in your hands, so which is really good. So after I added the shea butter. Make sure I work that in. Then I brush it. Some people brush it at the beginning, but I like to brush it at the end. There's less knot in the hair. Then I just. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna just have big twist in my hair. So I'm dividing the section in two and just twisting it. But usually I just leave it out and maybe if I'm trying to braid my hair, I just wait till it's, um, how do you call it? Wait till it's dry and then I start separating the hair and twisting it in like the sections that I want. And then I add the like the extensions. And that's on healthy hair. <laughs> healthy. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing here so how are you guys holding up through this epidemic you know I've been rethinking my life I'm like do I really want to do this like God if it's time tell me so I can just like sleep all day and not do anything all day but for sure it's not gonna end like this so let's have hope now we're moving to the next section like look it's so tiny Papa. I wear my hair I'm back and forth so hi you guys this morning like maybe it's been a week since I first heard the news but this morning like major not major but like the big Instagram pages like not shade room things like spiritual words or something they picked up the story about how like two French doctors were discussing the fact that they can go or they might go to Africa to um, use it as a trial lab for the the the, the was like the COVID vaccine that they're trying to create. They're like, oh, there's no mask, there's no like ventilators, there's no this, there's no that. So why not just use them as um you know as a lab so we can see if it actually works on human or not. There's like so many things to involve. First, they're French, so they're like the head of colonialism, the head of co colonialism yeah, yeah yeah i say it right the head of colonialism and the head of racism that's that's their thing and just just to say you're doctors so you know what's up and just like yeah yes let's use you know the blacks and let's also use prostitutes you know how we're using prostitutes because they they have sex and they don't protect themselves so let's try testing aid that's the first thing i've heard <clears throat> I'm like that's another thing that I heard when he was talking he was talking about how they use prostitutes to test AIDS they just inject them and they see how their body react to it and I was kind of shocked I'm like bruh Missy Kwesa what the fuck shit sir I'm like y'all y'all just don't learn you do not learn from your mistakes so I'm glad to see like so many people being mad about that because I am mad about that. Like how you going to use my continent to do your stupid thing? Go to where the most people are dying. Go to like America, okay? USA. The US right now the death is like God knows how many more than the Asian or the Chinese people where it all started. Like they have fewer deaths than America and I don't know how Americans were able to get that many deaths but they did so I think you should go there and try it out over there because they need your help more than the how many they're not even that many people in Africa that have it or the are dying they don't maybe there's a lot of people but we're not sure because you don't give we don't have the testing kits and all that so why don't you first go and help them before using them as a lab rat it's just like god these people these people don't learn but one day one day they will one day they will oh, one day they will one day they will oh. that was my rant so how you guys No, I haven't been active. I was like, I've been reading so many Wattpad books. Like, it's so embarrassing. And like, how does one become an influencer? That's my question. Like, how does one become something? Like, if like they're like, oh, you have to be consistent. You have to be this. You have to be that. I'm not that. I'm not this. Even the oversized, the plus one size, the plus size ones, they're like, they're special, you know, they're all special. Am I special? Sometimes I think I'm special. All my friends say that I have an attitude, which makes me special, but, you know, 
On va pas écouter mes amis parce qu'ils sont des ingrats. Des losers. Des losers. Les losers là, c'est eux. Ils sont jaloux. Ce sont des jaloux. I like to say that I'm six eight and people they make fun of me like in attitude. Bitch, if I'm six eight, I'm six eight. Let me be. Let me live my fantasy. Ça t'a pas attrapé, ça t'a rien fait. Like, you know what I don't like? Situationships. Like, please, my dude, do you like me or not? Don't drag me and then after get your friend or like a girlfriend in the middle of our situationship. Unless it's only me that think it's a situationship, then like, oh, by any means, go ahead. <sighs> go ahead. I'm so proud of my hair. It's like such a little beauty. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? It just hangs like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi guys, um, so it's done. I'm gonna take like it's gonna take 24 hours to dry, but it's okay because I have nowhere to go. But usually, I use a little less water, but it's okay. I need a bit of hydration. So thank you. You can like, share, subscribe, and give me suggestions. Like, what are you guys doing during the quarantine? There's so many videos of people telling you what to do, but what are you actually doing? I'm watching Netflix. The Walking Dead preparing for this epidemic, okay? The Walking Dead preparing. Michonne prepared me for this. I am ready. Come. I am ready.